chief of Catholic Online, and one of the things I love about being a Catholic Christian is the rich tradition of prayer. So many different ways to pray. After all, prayer is simply growing in an ongoing conversation with the Lord, living in a communion with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ with Trinity. The Apostle Paul told the Christians in Thessalonia that they should pray without ceasing. How do you do that? There's all kinds of ways. And one of those ways in the Catholic tradition is called the Novena. And it is a nine day protracted period of prayer for a specific need. People gather together and pray for nine straight days. And we have a tradition that says when Jesus told the disciples right before he ascended to go to the upper room and wait and pray and he would send the Holy Spirit, they did that for nine days. So faithful Catholics pray novenas all the time. And they ask for the intercession of those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. Our elder brothers and sisters in the Lord who are praying for us because we're joined in a communion of love. We want to be a part of what is becoming a novena explosion. And the internet is helping to foster a prayer network of novenas all over the world. We're about to launch one of those prayer networks. Stay tuned, we'll let you know, and you can be a part of changing history through prayer, through concentrated prayer, by joining the Novena of Catholic Online. God bless you. A Christian understanding of work views it through the lens of the incarnation of Jesus Christ. God incarnate, Jesus the Christ, was a worker. From the carpenter's shop in Nazareth, to his public ministry, to the cross, Jesus was always about doing his Father's work. When confronted by some misguided religious leaders for teaching on the Sabbath, he told them, my Father is working still, and I am working. All human work when it is joined to the work of Jesus, is made holy. And it helps those who are engaged in it to grow in holiness themselves. The early Christian church father, Gregory Nazianzus, expressed the implications of the incarnation of Jesus in these words. Whatever was not assumed was not healed. But because the entire human experience was assumed by Jesus, work, which is a part of that human experience, has now been transformed by Christ the Worker. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the Church. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you that promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses the Bible speaks of. They've gone before us marked with the sign of redemption, and they live their lives by faith. They inspire us by their holy lives. They also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. And a special place of honor in that communion is St. Joseph. He said yes to your call to be the chaste husband of Mary, the mother of the world the foster father of Jesus, and the guardian of the Redeemer. A man of few words, Joseph spoke with action and calls us to the way of active faith. The patron of all workers also shows us the dignity of all human work when joined to Jesus. Joseph always said yes to your invitations of grace. He always put Mary and Jesus ahead of himself. And he invites us to do the same in our own daily lives. 
the carpenter who taught the child Jesus to work with wood in the workshop of Nazareth, now shows us that all human work participates in the loving plan of redemption. At 33 years old, Jesus, the carpenter's son, freely embraced the wood of the cross and reconciled us to you and to one another for the sake of the world. Joseph loved Jesus, and Jesus loved Joseph, and that love continues. St. Joseph, you who love Jesus with a genuine fatherly love, we now ask you to pray for us as we follow the way of Jesus in our everyday lives. You understand the challenges of raising a family, earning a living, facing the difficulties of life, and always remaining faithful to God. We now turn to you and we ask for your intercession. By your prayers, obtain for us the special graces we need to be faithful to our own specific vocation and to live our lives in service to Jesus as you did. St. Joseph, today, I specifically ask you, and now here, add your own specific intention. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. lộc cao sang nhớ khi sanh tiền cha đã giữ gìn thành thật dám xin hô phù đoàn con cái nơi trần gian mừng lạy cha chi nhân chi lành là bạn thành sanh đức nữ chi nhân đức cha soi chiếu muôn nghìn đời nguyện chào con nói số người liên để sao được vinh phúc vô biên lạy thánh du xe khi sống trên đời trần ai người hàng chiêm ngắm tôn nhan chùa trời ngồi hai dám xin cha lành cho chúng con dày ở thế vững tin không rơi và yêu chúa không hề phai mừng lạy cha chi nhân chi lành là bạn thành xanh đứng nở chi nhân đức cha dạng đời soi chiếu muôn nhìn đời Nguyện chào con nói xấu người liên Để sao được vinh phúc vô biên cha lành thương giúp con hèn yêu đuối thắng mỗi dục tình hầu sao đáng ơn trường sinh lạy thánh du xe gương mẫu 
cho người cần lắm mặc dù vất vả cha luôn giữ lòng thanh cao dám xin cha lành thương giúp thơ thuyền lao khổ biết đem thanh bầm dựng ngay phúc vinh đời sau mừng lễ cha chi nhân chi lành là bạn thành xanh đức nở chi nhân đức cha dạng đời soi chiếu muôn nhìn đời nguyện cho con nói dấu người liên để sau được vinh phúc vô biên mừng lễ cha chi nhân chi lành là bạn thành xanh đức nở chi nhân đức cha dạng đời soi chiếu muôn nhìn đời nguyện chào con nói